Finally, Sunderland is starting to wake up. Thank God for that. I was getting a bit worried myself. Uh, nah, jokes aside, Sunderland have made their second signing of the uh, transfer window. We've brought in a lad called Aji LSE. Apologies if I've said that wrong. Um, I didn't know much about the kid. I'm going to be brutally honest. He's a centre back. Um, we've brought him in from West Ham. He's been there since he was eight year old. Uh, he's played it under. Under 16s to under 20s for England, which is good. Um, also, he's been on loan at Accrington Stanley from 2019 to 20. Like I say, he's been at West Ham since he was eight year old. He played under David Moyes in the first team in the cup game against Hull, where they did win 5 1 West Ham. So, listen, like I say, I know very little about him. I'm just so glad we've brought in another centre back. We did need that spot covering. Obviously, we brought in Ballard, so there's more competition. There's a plenty, plenty of depth now at centre back in the team. A position where we really do need to fill a striker. That's the next position for me where we really do need to bring in. To be honest, that would have been my first option, but listen, I'm not bothered as long as we're starting to bring bodies in now. So, but striker for me is a must. Then obviously we need a right back and maybe a, maybe a left back as well. Huggins, he did look alright. The, the first step, sorry, not Huggins. Certainly did alright for me. Huggins can play a left back and right back, but we still need another another left back, another right back, and a definitely, definitely a striker. That is for sure. Because if that happens to, to Stuart, we are cattle trucked. I'm not gonna lie. But listen, I'm happy that Aji's here. Comment below anything more you know about them than me. Literally, I know I'm not. I'm going to dig a little bit more research for um, when me and Stephen go live tomorrow for the Dundee game for, against Sunderland. I'm going to dig a live stream. Obviously, we'll, we'll get up to scratch on this kid, do a little bit more research and uh, obviously bring more bit info before the game. Uh, I'm, going to tell, I'm going to quickly now let you know what he said, Aji. Aji said, it is amazing to be here. I'm happy the deal is done. I've lived five minutes away from West Ham training ground and I've been there since the age of eight. So it could be easy for me to just steer there, but life isn't easy and I'm ready for the challenge. I've spoken to Alex Neil, Christian Speakman and Stuart Harvey and i got a good feeling about Sun and the FC. This is the place I want to be, so now it's time to crack down and get ready for the new season. So there you go and listen, he's up for the challenge, he's up for the fight. He said, he, he said there, he could have easily stopped at West Ham and just dawdled through his career, but he wants a challenge. And he, and he feels Sunderland is the club for him, which that's all we Sunderland supporters want to hear, that he's going to be up for the fight. So now let's hear what Alex Neil had to say regarding this signing. Aji is left-footed, really quick. I like having a balance in my team where he was at a stage where he was really pushing to get into West Ham's first team. So we felt it was really good fit for us more and more. I think young lads are realising that there is the need to get on the pitch and show what they can do. It is important that Aji comes here, shows his quality and gets into the team. That will be up to him, but he already shown an appetite to play and the qualities that he brings to ones that I think we need to add him to the squad. I was getting my words a bit fumbled up there near the end, trying to read it too quick, but no, listen, Alex Nails, he recognises hungry, raw talent, that, that was sort of the plan in League One. It, it worked, not going to lie, it really did work. And now it looks like they've gone down that same route. Team players who's just on the fringe of first teams in, say, the Premier League or even maybe in the Championship, maybe the uh, squad players in the Championship, but fringe players in the Premier League, bring them down. The raw, the hungry, the up for the fight, they want to get in the first team, they want to prove themselves, they want to show what they've got. And I think this is a really good approach with this kid because just looking at him, he looks like athletic. So for me, he's ready again. He's raring again, like Alex Nils just said. And listen, it's another body through the door. It's always nice to have depth in this team. We struggled with injuries in previous seasons. So it's nice to bring Adji in. Hopefully we can get a strike and a couple of more full backs and maybe another midfielder. And uh, things are starting to look good for Sunderland. Comment below if you are happy with this signing. Who else you would like to see through the door? Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in my live stream tomorrow.